What's good YouTube? Tim, I'm showing you guys my settings here in Modern Warfare 2 Season 1. I got you guys with the best control settings, the best graphics settings, and the best audio settings here. These settings are going to help you guys just play better overall. And after I show you guys my settings, I'm going to have some gameplay after just to show you why these settings are superior. And these are like my actual settings too. This isn't cap and stuff like that. I'm going to show you guys me just going crazy with the settings and stuff like that. With the video start, if you guys are brand new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, drop a like, turn on the bell notification. Let's hop right into it. So for the first thing is going to be on my graphic settings my display I, f I play full screen exclusive that gives you the most fps uh this is my monitor i have a 3060 ti which i'm going to be upgrading soon so there's some of this stuff might change as well because i'm going to be changing stuff on my pc but i have a 150 hertz monitor so that's about 143 is the max on here uh i play on 1080p but i'm, I'm going to be playing on 1440p soon as well and then we're Dynamic resolution is off. Aspect ratio is automatic. The V syncs are off. Everything. Frame rate is on custom. I just have to cap that 250. The menu, cap that at 60 because you don't need to have your PC working overtime while you're just sitting in the menus. It's just shaders and stuff like that. The display gamma is at 2.2. Brightness is personal preference. And my focus mode is going to be off. For quality, now everything I'm about to go through in quality is based on my PC. So it might be different for you depending on those type of graphics cards you have and stuff like that. So. Quality preset presets is going to be on custom. Render resolution is on 100. Resolution that's always on 100. You have one upscaling and sharpening. Put it on the cast right here and make sure that's on 50. You could put that up to 100 if you want. Um, anti aliasing is going to be on filmic SMA. I came like I came default. I'm pretty sure that came automatic. Uh, anti aliasing quality as high. Uh, let's see details and texture. Everything is going to be on high for the text resolution, the texture filter. And like nearby details and distant details so you can see further away of course this is just depending on the type of graphics card you do have clutter draw distance that's on long particle details honestly the particle details don't even need to be that high because obviously it just shows effects you know saying like thermite just seeing the picture right there so you can put those on low if you want i just have it on high because that's how it came um bullet impacts and spray that's just on if you want to see people spray paint and see actual bullets on the wall share the quality make sure that's on high as well because you want to have the Best shaders to your game feel smooth and stuff like that. Uh, tessellation that's on just all um, terrain, memory, minimum on demand, texture, streaming. This is all automatic as well. I'm pretty sure I had this turn off, I think, last year. I'm pretty sure I don't know. It's just on right now. That was just automatic how the game streaming quality that's normal. You got the ultra mech quality that's on high, that's on as well. That's personal preference. Uh, we have shadow and lighting, shadow map resolution. Doesn't need to be on ultra, but that's like I said, that's how my PC came. My settings. You have the space shadows that's high. Uh the spot shadow that's also on high. Particle light is on ultra. The ambient ambient amb all right, really? Ah uh, yeah, that, that's on both. It's on ultra quality as well. Um screen space reflection that's on high. The static reflections on high as well. Uh let's see, we have the post processing effects. Nvidia reflect latency that's on depth of field, make sure that's off. Then the get it makes your screen blurry at a certain point. Make sure world motion blur and weapon motion blur is off as well. Because motion blur is just ass. Do not use it. I'm telling you now, do not use it. And also make sure your film grain is also on zero. I think it comes default on 25. Make sure that's just on zero as well. Gotta make everything just look better. Things like that. The FOV is gonna be 120 as well, of course. Up there on affected. Um weapon view. I put that on wide. I think default is just like regular how it is. I did it on wide so it doesn't have my guns won't have as much visual recoil. That's why I did that. Uh, let's see. We have the first person and third person camera moving. Make sure that's on least. You don't, you don't want your camera shaking. So this right here will just make that just less of camera just moving a lot when things happen. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Going to be for my graphic settings here. Make sure you guys my audio settings as well. Uh, headphones, bass boost. So you hear everything in this game. Even the footsteps are crazy loud. Master volume is on seventy. Obviously, this is personal preference. I'm I be damn near going deaf playing this fucking game, which is crazy. Everything else is on 100. I turn the music down. Um, this is just like my headphones and stuff like that. Subtitles you have that on if you want. Voice chat, all personal preference, proximity chat. Yeah, basically everything here is just personal preference and what you have put into your PC, like your headsets and mic and all that extra stuff. Um, I'm sure you guys the interface settings as well. The most important things on here is going to be on the mini map. Make sure you have the mini map on square. I think it comes default square, but make sure it's on square because it gives you way more information than the circle actually would. 
Um, let's see, we have the horizontal compass. That's personal preference. Cross here. Make sure your crosshair is on so you can aim better. You can centering. Uh, head marker visuals. You can have that on if you want. Player names. Make sure you have that on because visibility is kind of rough in this game. So make sure that's on full name. That's going to be it for the interface. Now I'm going to show you guys my controller settings here. So I play tactical flip. In other words, I shoot R1 and L1. That's very important. That's the best way to play this game. Call of Duty in general. Vibration is off. My stick layout is default, as you can see. Uh, my sensitivity is a 7.7. 7. I don't plan on moving it. I, I love playing 7.7. 7. This is the perfect way to play me and Call of Duty as well. All these sensitivities and stuff like that is all default. I didn't touch any of those. I don't plan on touching any of those. In down sight is hold. That's default. Uh, let's see. Automatic tax sprint. Honestly, I, I like automatic tax sprint, even though I do know it's punishing in this game. I still use it. I, I still feel it, it still makes me feel like I can move around in this game. You know, you really can't because you are slow as hell. But I just like automatic tax sprint. That's just personal preference. Everything right here is just default right here. And stuff like that is just going to be personal preference as well. Advanced target emphasis, of course, I'm going to be on. I use default and I heard Black Ops is the best one, but I think they nerfed it with the season one update. So either you're going to use default or you use precision. Precision is the best one if you're very, very accurate. You know, so if, of course, if you find the best aim, then use the default. It'll help you better. Uh, I'll just, I don't know what this gyro aiming shit is. That's all default. Aim response, curve type is going to be dynamic. That's the best one to use. My dead zones, everything right here is just all based on how your controller is. If your controller has stick drift, you move up to dead zones and stuff like that. If anything is feel loose in controller, you just adjust all these so it won't be as loose in game. So that's all based on the control you have. We have auto move forward. That's off. Tactical screen behavior is double. That's just personal for me. Automatic airborne man to is partial. Look at that. Automatic ground man to is off. We have invert slide and dive behavior. That's standard and stuff like that. Everything else right here is just default. I didn't change any of these and just how the game just came. But it's going to be my settings here. Model for 2 season 1. If you guys are brand new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications. Drop a like. Comment down, comment down below your sensitivity. I'll see you in the next one. They break smile. They break smile. Oh, no, yeah. Oh my god, he just spawned on me. Oh my god, teammate called him all like him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is this kid so fast? What?
Deploying reinforcements. <laughs> Friendly care package in the AO. Move to secure. Hand it down! Ah. I'm taking fire! Friendly cruise missile approaching target. <laughs> HQ is active. Get it secure. We're capturing the HQ. Set security. Requesting close in. Target marked. Copy that. Longbow 3 1 on station. Go for test. My God. Oh, my God. You think, bitch? No, call here. Oh my, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? Oh my god, I just held it down for the fucking team, nigga. Oh my god. No! 